Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Um, this is the second lot, um, the second order, about half of that order that I need to dye up. I'm going to be using a black or charcoal uh, wild, wild raspberry um, galah, which is like a hot pink nice hot pink and I'm going to be making up some violet um, so this one will be laid out on the plastic wrap um, I've got a face mask on just for the mixing of the colours because it's powder and I've got fans going so I, I might sound like a little bit muffly. I've got 200 grams to dry up in this one. To make violet, if you do not have violet, um, I worked out is a kind of like a teal colour. I've chosen Pacific. Is one table, one teaspoon of Pacific. Two half a teaspoon of wild berry. I will be painting the fibre using a paintbrush. My mix for acid water is 50% hot water to 50% vinegar. Black. Black, uh, it's hard to make it just stay black once it's steamed and dried. This will turn out more like a dark charcoal colour. This wild berry is one of my favourite colours. How potent that is, so beautiful. I 
I put a little bit more glow in this because this is leftovers from the um, tree dietary um, pink flowers and I want it a little bit more brighter. This is what Pacific and wild bear, uh, wild bear, wild berry turns out like a nice violet. However, I need to uh, try and get it to stay nice and violet once it's all dried. It feels so hard. Okay, so I'm going to move the ones that I've already used. And put them back in my dye box. I won't be using them again until next time. Maybe. So that's the colorway for this one. So in order, I'm going black, I will go uh, probably violet, and then wild berry, and pink. because you don't want any excess dyes to go onto your clean woven where you don't want that colour to be. So I'm going to take off the mask now. My face is so sweaty. Ugh. I will wipe that down before I put some roving down on it because uh, majority of the times the the dye does spread. Um, I'm glad I got a big box of gloves. Tree Diety is now finished in the steamer. I will not take it out until I finish this one. but it does make good thick and thin yarn. It's a good um, fibre for beginners and people that want to make really warm garments. These ones will be used in a spinning project from one of my buyers. So. Oh, fuck. Love. 
It's a lot more fluffy, I'd say. So, it's a thicker fiber. It is more coarse. Um, it's still not um, tough, like rough or anything. It's still past, uh, you know, fine enough and soft enough to use for close to skin, skin wears and stuff. So, I won't go higher than 21 microns. I have tried to spin um, 26, but I just do not like the feel of it. Merino is also extremely touchy. It doesn't like being touched and it tends to felt easy so I'm gonna try not agitate it too much that's why I like to paint my dies not push it down I will be spin drying the water out after these are finished in, in the steamer. It just allows it to dry faster. Um, let's get started. So I'm going to do this in four sections. Black, um, what was it? Violet, uh, wild berry and bright peak on the end. These will be identical and because I've uh, laid them down next to each other at the same length um, I'm going to dye the same like just in sections so when it's all dry um, and steamed and whatnot, it will be pretty much identical. 